Duh! No! <laughs> My hint is, you shouldn't have used this. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Katie, and welcome to another episode of Lost in Translation. We take a recipe, we put it through Google Translate, it goes from English to Norwegian to Danish to Lao and many, many, many more, and finally back to English to give us a hilariously translated recipe. Today's episode, I'm very excited about because we're getting our recipe from a very special guest. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm so excited to be here. Jasmine doesn't know that I'm here yet. I am very excited for the dish that I chose today. I think it might be a little bit tricky. It's based off my friend Woon Hang's recipe and I did my own little twist on it. So at the end, I'm gonna bring in how the dish is supposed to be. Let's see what Jasmine does. Good luck, Jasmine, rooting for you. Are you ready? Yes. This one's unique. Oh. And different. Vegetable grinder. <laughs> I love it. I'm ready to cook. Let's do it. Let's do it. Step one, cut eight ounces of I know into one and a half pieces. Take it in a bowl and add plenty of water. Leave for two minutes until golden brown. Cut eight ounces of I know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there's bean curd sheets, tofu paper, there's some nori, more bean curd. I really like the amount of bean curd sheets we have. So you do have to soak these. Bean curd, bean to I? Bean, bean. I'm a human being, I. That's a stretch. <laughs> Word association power. What we're gonna do is cut eight ounces. I guess I have to weigh them. So I have chosen these. I personally have not worked with them before. This is like Asian auntie level. I'm not there yet. Eight ounces. Let me grab a bowl first because I'll have to rehydrate it in plenty of water. One and a half pieces. I'm scared if I cut it now and I need it big later, no good. I'll put this here first. I'm just weighing eight ounces. So right now, I am going to just cut all of them in half. I'm gonna fill this with water. Now I'm just dousing it, making sure it's all covered in water. I guess we're gonna leave it in for two minutes till they rehydrate. Step two, rinse the squash on the skin and inhale a lot of water by hand. Transfer to a clean bowl. Maybe it's rinse the oil off the skin and wring out the excess water. I'm just gonna squeeze this as much as I can to get all the water out. Feels so good. Step number three. In a medium bowl, wipe together the two teaspoon chicken broth. One tablespoon, it will work. One teaspoon salt. One teaspoon plums pepper. Half teaspoon hungry bite. Half teaspoon onion flour. Three tablespoon of wheat and quarter cup of water. Medium bowl is acquired. Chicken broth. Nutritional yeast. Oh, mushroom powder. When I'm eating this, often it is paired with mushroom powder. Ooh. Yeah. For chicken broth, I am going with mushroom bouillon. I actually find this to be a pretty common pairing. Unless I got that wrong, then I'm, I'm <laughs> we still need merch ideas, y'all. Leave it. Leave a comment. Not I'm. Two teaspoons. It will work. Something that works. Yeast works. It be working. So I think I'm gonna go with nutritional yeast. One teaspoon salt. I think that's salt. That one usually doesn't change much. I think plums pepper is chili pepper. So I am gonna do one teaspoon of plums pepper as. Sichuan chili flakes. Half teaspoon hungry bite. I am actually leaning towards garlic powder. That's what I'm gonna do. Half teaspoon onion flour, which I think is half teaspoon of onion powder. Three tablespoons of wheat. I assume that is flour. I will do potato starch. And a quarter cup of water. That I think is water. We are going to wipe it together. Mmm, smells really good. Step number four. Pour the mixture over the milk skin and mix. Divide the tube into five same piece. I'm gonna mix this in here so I don't lose any mixture. So don't mark it wrong, Alexa. <laughs> so now we're just gonna mix this. I'll just divide it evenly into five. Five. I think I'm gonna do this on a tray. Divide the tube into five same piece. I think I'm just gonna divide them equally into five, even though I have more than five pieces. Step number five. Divide the lemon into five inches. It will require five in total. I thought I already did this. <laughs> <laughs> Divide the lemon into five inches. It will require five in total. 
Okay, I I will use a hint. You get a special hint. Mimo's available on vacation. All right, time to call Mimo. Mimo, help me! I'm being bullied. What you get? <laughs> okay, I need your help. Can I read you this step? Divide the lemon into five inches. It will require five in total. Oh, I think I know what that is. This lemon is long. <laughs> Good job, Mimo! Thank you, Mimo. That was very helpful. You're welcome. Good luck. Thank you. Bye. She said this lemon is long. I mean, this is quite long. <laughs> this is long too. Lemongrass. And there's five. Oh, lemon! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> to use the lemongrass, what we're gonna do is just use the stalks. Yay! Step number six. In a small bowl, combine one and a half tablespoons seal and one tablespoon of boiled water. Divide the soil into perilla leaves. Soil? Something to seal. If I'm combining these somehow, I feel like I need some... Cornstarch. One and a half tablespoon cornstarch with one tablespoon room temp water. I'm gonna mix this all together till it dissolves. Divide the soil into, oh, into perilla leaves on this. I think I'm going to brush the soil onto my perilla leaf. I'm gonna cover this and I have a lot of slurry left, so maybe that was wrong. <laughs> Step number seven, cover the branch tightly with the marinade to form compact layers. Continue wrapping it in the first layer to get the shape of a drum. Cover the branch tightly, branch, tightly with the marinade. Marinade? Okay, well then I do have to cut this into strips. How do I do that now? I think I'm gonna cut these into strips and wrap them around like a drum, and then I'm gonna take one strip and cover it tightly with the marinade to form compact layers. There really is no going back after this. So I'm gonna keep wrapping. Right now I feel okay. I just hope this is somewhere on the right track. I'm gonna keep doing this and read step eight. Katie is so gracious. Step number eight, bear the ends of a stem to form a stem. Repeat with the remaining stems and lines. Lines. I think I'm just gonna continue doing this until all five are complete. I've finished my first one. I'm trying to make them look a little bit like chicken drumsticks. This will be a while. Look at my little soy babies. I think they look pretty cute. If I went the wrong way, I'm like wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> Step number nine, wrap the exploded tightly in foil and let cool for 30 minutes. So, uh, <laughs> I guess I will wrap these individually in foil and then cool for 30 minutes is fridge for 30 minutes. Oh, freeze, freeze. Am I gonna fry these? I can't read ahead. Maybe I can. No, I'll Venmo you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wrap these and then I'm gonna freeze them. It looks like chicken. So cute! These are all wrapped in foil. Now I'm gonna put them in the freezer for 30 minutes. It could be fridge but I'm gonna do freezer. BRB. Step 10. Bear in a bowl, one tablespoon water, one tablespoon sitting sauce, one teaspoon Worcestershire, and a one teaspoon honey cart. In a bowl, it's always my favorite step. Bear in a bowl sounds so poetic. Bear in a bowl. I think water is water. Okay, we'll do one tablespoon water. The thing is, I wanna say sitting sauce is soy sauce and I might wanna use a hint for Worcestershire because I just don't think Worcestershire is correct. I think soy sauce is sitting sauce. Every time Katie goes, I just feel I'm wrong. <laughs> so I'll do one tablespoon of sitting sauce, one teaspoon Worcestershire. I'll use a hint for Worcestershire. Who would you like your hint from? Kelly. Is exactly what it sounds. <laughs> My hint is you shouldn't have used this. No! <laughs> now I know for sure. <laughs> for honey cart, I'm gonna do maple syrup. The sauce is beautiful and amber colored. Step 11, take the circuit board out of the fridge and remove the plastic screw. Cover with sauce and set aside. I must head to the freezer. This is my circuit board. Remove the plastic screw, which is the foil. Ooh, that looks good. There, my plastic screws are here. Cover with sauce and set aside. So what I'm gonna do is 
take the sauce that I just made and just coat them all. The only reason I feel more confident is because we are working with ingredients I'm familiar with. But who knows, did I just gravitate towards the one that I'm familiar with? <laughs> Kelly, what did you do? She went, I just went <laughs> you know, it's like the outside is gonna be well coated. I'm not sure how deep it's gonna seep in. Step number 12, do a true 325 degree evolution. Spin. <laughs> I think I will have to do either bring oil to 325 degrees or preheat the oven to 325. Um, I think do a true 325 degree evolution means to preheat the oven to 325. I will be right back. Step 13, add the drums and sprinkle with a non-stick stick. Boil, what? for eight to 10 minutes until crispy golden brown. <laughs> the cooking method is very important. May I have a hint? Would you use non-stick stick to fry? Wait, 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 wait. I use it for my air free air. Can you get out of your, your golem like position? <laughs> I think it's air fryer. <laughs> I want a new hint. Is it air fryer? You don't get a new hint, that's your hint. Dang, so it's oven? I am going to sprinkle with my non-stick stick. Boil for eight to 10 minutes until crispy golden brown, I think means to put it in the oven for eight to 10 minutes. I will be right back. Step 14, half cup of sauce in a medium saucepan. Mix two tablespoons of honey with half teaspoon of sesame and salt are delicious. We got a hot plate and now I need a medium saucepan. Half cup of sauce. What kind? <laughs> Half cup of sugar. I think it's brown sugar. Or is it water? Five. No. Four, three, two, one, zero. I freeze under pressure. I'm gonna do half a cup of sugar. Two tablespoons of honey as soy sauce. Because you want to? You have a lot of questions. She's like, what? <laughs> half teaspoon of sesame and salt. Half a teaspoon of sesame oil. Salt? It could use some salt. Do you think that was right? Yeah. Final step, fill the fried tannin with honey grilled sauce and garnish with vegetables. Good father. <laughs> <laughs> Fill the fried tannin with honey grilled sauce. I think that is use the sauce and coat it on my plastic screws. Now we are going to fill the fried tannins with my honey grilled sauce. I just don't know what I would garnish with. Garnish with some sesame seeds. Before I garnish, I am going to transfer my fried tannins onto my plate. To garnish, I am just gonna cover it with a little bit of toasted sesame seeds because sesame seeds are vegetables. There we have it, vegetable grinder. So you ready to meet the guests and see what they're supposed to look like? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm honored to be here, I'm very excited. So I see what you've done here based off my recipe. Yours is beautiful. Honestly, yours is giving me like croissant vibes. I'm like, oh. this looks decadent. The recipe I chose is vegan chicken wings using yuba or tofu skin. Well, I have made vegetable grinder. <laughs> Do you want to try vegetable grinder? So badly, you have no idea. All right, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. That's good. That's really good. Is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm. I like it. It's got a nice meaty chew to it, which is kind of like the heart of this recipe in the first place. Mm. A little salty. I'm not above that though. Mm -hmm. What I'm really impressed is that you nailed the layers. So great job. Okay, I want to try yours. Let's do it. Cheers. Mmm. This tastes like barbecue drumsticks. How did you get from honey to mushrooms? Things happen, Merle. Okay. I think you did a really good job. They're related, they're like cousins. Well, this was a lot of fun, Merle. Thank you so much for this recipe. You're welcome. I honestly thought it was gonna trip you up more than it did. I feel like you absolutely nailed it. I do feel like I have a confidence boost. Make sure to tune in next week because uh, I think I needed this confidence boost. That's all I'll say. We will see you next week. Bye! Bye. Bye. This is gonna be a fun one. It's, she's gonna cry. No. You're so much taller. Hold on. <laughs> I know. <laughs> It doubles, it doubles. Hungry bite, baby. Hungry bite. Put that on a shirt. Put that on a shirt. <laughs> so many merch jobs. I'll demo you. I won't accept <laughs> bribes. Only bribes from Josh. <laughs> Vegetable grinder, that's gotta be my new nightclub. <laughs> that's like, or an app for, for vegetarians. <laughs> Just dating for vegans, <laughs> vegetable grinder.